top five best practices that you should be using in a document library in SharePoint. Number one, avoid using spaces when naming your document libraries. When you name your document library with the spaces in between the name of your document libraries, it creates a URL, which is the SharePoint URL with some characters between the names. It can create confusion and it can actually makes it hard for your users to find your document libraries. And obviously it's not a cleaner solution as well. Instead, try to remove the spaces between the names of your document library. And then you will see that the URL is actually much cleaner. Once that's done, you can definitely remove the spaces from the title of your document library and it becomes really clean and easy to find and manage. Number two, make use of meta tags instead of folders. If you are not syncing your document libraries to your computer, then meta tags is the way to go. By using folders, you are basically restricting yourself to classify documents in a single way. But if you make use of meta tags, it gives you more flexibility and you can actually classify your documents in a manner which is easier to find documents for your users in a document library. Number three, make use of views. Set up views in a document libraries. Setting up views makes it easier to create different sort of views which are based on different sorting and different grouping and makes it really, really easy to find documents in a document library. Number four, set up alerts in a document library. When you configure alerts, it actually gives you a chance to get notified whenever something happens in your document library. Whenever a document is changed or deleted or modified, you can get instant notifications about the changes in any documents in a document library. Number five, make use of content types. Setting up content types, you can basically create different kind of meta tags and properties for your documents in a document library. You can create multiple content types for a document library and each content you can actually assign a document template as well. Imagine you have multiple documents in a document library and which are of different kinds and they all have different templates. You can assign each document template a different kind of properties or metadata. So content types is actually the way to go to manage your document libraries properly. If you want to know more about the content types, I've actually created another video on the document content types. You should check out that video to learn more about the content types. I guess that's it for now. And I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.